talk about replacing our Iridium Go with Starlink and Data Hub, which is a product by PredictWind. And I'll tell you why we're doing this and the benefits and how easy or hard it is to do. So first of all, Iridium Go. This is our Iridium Go box. It was kind of pricey and it acts as a satellite phone slash mechanism for getting emails and text messages. The internet component of this is extraordinarily slow, like dial-up speed slow. So if you're using it to send emails or text messages, um, it's very, very time consuming, very, very slow. The advantage, what we use this for, for years, was for the weather gribs we got for Predict Wind. And even that was so, you'd, you'd download, you know, a couple hundred K of data uh, for Predict Wind to get the weather files, and it could take 20 minutes, or half times it would, it would cut out. You have to wait a few minutes, it would cut back on again, turn back on again. So it was very time consuming, very slow. Um, if you use it as a satellite phone, it was really clunky. You'd have to wait like five seconds. There's this major lag, so you wait five seconds for the other person to hear you before you start talking. So you have to get used to that. But it's worldwide coverage, and I felt pretty comfortable knowing I can always download a uh, grib file for my Predict Wind. Um, the price was, I believe, $150 a month, and I just got an email from them, and I think they said they're raising it to $170 a month. So the price of the Ceridium Go went up a lot. Okay, so that's what I what I'm thinking is old technology, uh, and I could be wrong, but that's what I'm thinking. Uh, they do have worldwide coverage though, which is very key and very important. Next, we got Starlink. Starlink is like the greatest thing since sliced bread. We got it out of the box. I stuck it in a fishing rod holder. I plugged it in, turned it on, and in about a minute and a half, it's getting 150 meg download speed. Very easy to use. It's $135 a month for the RV version. It's the same dish. It's just the network. Basically, they, they let you move from place to place without having to transfer things. So Starlink is incredible. We sailed from Hampton, Virginia, all the way to the British Virgin Islands, 1,500 miles, hundreds and hundreds of miles out in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, and we had uh, service the entire time. Uh, it was actually streaming movies and, and, and TV shows. You never, ever can do that with Iridium Go. It's, again, it's, you only get a few bytes of data at a time, not gigs of data at a time. It was relatively easy to set up. We mounted a fishing rod holder if you can see this, can you see this? Yeah. Um, fishing rod holder plugged in. I have this line on here because while we were in the Atlantic Ocean, it was really, really big waves and big seas, and I was just paranoid that I was going to go flying off the boat. It didn't, but I just stuck this up there just as a safety precaution, I guess you can say. So I got to take this off. Can you see that? We drilled a hole under here. I put one of these clam shells on, and I, we snaked it through here. And I'll show you what we do with it. It's really easy to do. It took us uh, just a couple minutes to snake it through. Thanks to Tony on sailing Dracaris. There's my beautiful wife editing video. She's gonna have to edit this. It's gonna take her like weeks to do. So we came up here. I took the ceiling panel off, ran the wire through, drilled a hole back here, and stuck a little shell there, and I plugged it in, and there's the router. We get majorly fast internet for $135 a month. It's working in the Caribbean right now. I heard it's working always down to Grenada. We'll find out. So that is Starlink. Again, Elon's like a god to me. Anyway, so Predict Wind came out with a new, a new tool and it's called Data Hub. So at Data Hub, let me take a step back. What Iridium Go did for us also was that Every hour, it pinged our position to predict wind, which saves it, and then we can show that on our website. So we have a track us button on our website, which shows where we are at all times. And it also shows how fast the boat is traveling and how much wind predict wind thinks we have. It's not how much wind we actually have, it's how much wind predict wind thinks we have. This was good, and this was invaluable because we needed to track ourselves. Our family and friends are always tracking us, making sure we're not dead and sunk somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. Adrian didn't yell at me for saying that. If I'm going to get rid of Iridium Go, I needed to, we needed to find a way to track ourselves. So PredictWin came out with this product called Data Hub. And what Data Hub does is 
it pings your position every 15 minutes. So what Data Hub could do is you can actually plug it into your NMEA 2000 backbone of your of your boat, which which basically has all of your information. It's got your your GPS coordinates. It's got coordinates. It's got your speed. It's got your the, the apparent wind and true wind. It's got all the information that you see on your chart plotter. Uh, basically, is on your NMEA backbone. It's all that data is there. So Data Hub allows you to plug into that backbone so you can see everything. It'll also, uh, again, send your position out every 15 minutes, it pings your position. So not only, not only now are you getting your position, you're also getting all your boat's vital information. How fast you're going, uh, how, how fast the actual wind is at that moment, not predicted wind, but actual wind, apparent wind, true wind, your angle, um, your speed, I said that already. Uh, all your basically pertinent information is, is comes with this also. So this was a, I think I paid uh, $500 for this. Let me check. Pause. So I just checked and we paid $299 for this data hub. Uh, again, Iridium Go, I think it was like $1,000 or $1,200. I think they're raising the right rate on it again as well. So, uh, so the problem with this is that you need internet. So it's very easy. Basically, we would hook this up to our Wi-Fi, which is our uh, pick two. So this needs Wi-Fi. That's the only problem with it. Iridium Go has it built in, right? This is a satellite communication. This needs information or needs Wi-Fi or some sort of communication mechanism. So we have Starlink. So basically, we have to figure out a way to how to hook this up to Starlink, so it's always using the Starlink Wi-Fi, and then plug it all in, and voila, we should have, it should be good to go. So here's how we did it. First, I came up here in our boat, and I pulled our ceiling panel down where all our other stuff is in there. There's my Sirius satellite radio. Here's my Rogue Wave MBR550 Wi-Fi cell phone booster. Uh, there's my Raymarine, uh, card reader, it's an external card reader. For Data Hub, I wanted to put it up here, uh, but you gotta plug it in, and I don't feel like running a new plug, so basically you can take the existing plug and cut it out and make it 12 volt, uh, and that's a pain in the butt. And what I did was, I just unplugged my MBR550, because I'm not using it at the moment. I'm gonna use the same power charger for that. So I'm gonna plug it in like this. Voila, she's plugged in. To hook it up to a network, you can have it hardwired with a WAN or LAN port. Problem I have with that is the Starlink router is over there, and if I wanted to plug it in, I'd have to run wire cables all the way up and through into here. But you can do it via Wi-Fi. Uh, it's tricky. We can do it, and I can show you how in a minute. I've done that already. I plugged this in. It's going to take a minute before it's hooked up, and once it's hooked up, I'll show you what I did. Then I took an NMEA 2000 uh, cord. I'm gonna plug it into here, right? And then I went down below and we had to find an extra backbone component. So, came into our bedroom, opened up the ceiling. Here's part of our NMEA backbone, this whole mess here. And there was a one at the end of here that was not being used. They gave us a, a T head, so I plugged it into here. So now it should be talking to our network which means I have GPS position, I have all the information I see on my chart plotter, I have plugged in now. Is this crazy, by the way? For you guys who think boats are simple, and they should be, a sailboat is a sailboat, but when these boats, look at the electronics in here, it is friggin' insane what we have here. I told you how I would show you how to hook the data hub up to your Wi-Fi network, which is our Starlink network, and I just pulled out the instructions, I, I mean, I already did it, so I don't want to show you all my stuff, but essentially it's, it says it's the most complex of all internet connectivity methods but it's really not all you got to do is go to service and settings and then go to the Wi-Fi tab there's two sections the Wi-Fi network to internet which is what you connect the data hub to and the second is the Wi-Fi access point hotspot which is the the Wi-Fi network that data link will now give to you um, but to hook a, hook your data link up to Starlink which is what this is all about Essentially, you just go, you push the scan button, you find the network, your Starlink network, you hit join network, um, 
and then you put in your, your network password and essentially it will give you connection to the network and it'll always be on that. So they say it's complicated, but it's really not that complicated. So it's now called WTPW, but it used to be called Data Hub something or other. I already, I already renamed it. So I'm hooking up to that network. So basically now the Wi-Fi is connected. So if I go to 10.10.10.1, this is our interface. The, the default is admin, admin, I changed it. So here's our, our interface with, this, with the network. If I go to settings and check internet status, it shows interface, WAN, status online. This is now transmitting my Starlink network to its own network. So I've got basically a Starlink network and a predict win network. The predict win is basically just spoo spoofing off the Starlink. So it's the same thing. So then we check the NMEA. Let's see if that's on. Source. And I, I did this already and the instructions are pretty easy. Internet AIS. So basically I come to Internet AIS and enable it. Again, the instructions are really easy. So it's showing that I have AIS attached to this also now. And GPS, GPS status, GPS status is active. So now I have the GPS, which is being derived directly from my NMEA backbone. Anyway. So now what we can do, since we have AIS, is we can pull up on our Nav my Navionics chart, which is my, my iPad's Navionics chart. We actually get AIS now, which we were never able to get before. So we can pull up information about the boats. Um, there's our friends named on Fearless. They're really cool. We met them the other day. Uh, their call sign. Their speed overground is 1.1, 1 .1, so they're not really going anywhere. They're 52 foot long boat, 10 feet wide, so it's a monohull. So you can basically get information while you're sailing. So this is fantastic, and we never we never had this before on the Navionics app on the iPad. It's on the chart plotter, but not on the iPad. So this could be very very invaluable also while we're sailing, and it can make things a lot safer. So one other advantage here of having Starlink and Data Hub. So to sum it up, Iridium Go, gone. I'm not using it anymore. Uh, maybe in the future, if we're going around the world and it's, Starlink isn't around, um, but for, in the meantime, I'm not using it anymore. Uh, for $135 a month, I have Starlink. It's amazing. It's fast. The data hub from Predict Wind, uh, it tracks us. It gives us all our print information. Uh, it can actually create polars for your boat too, which means It'll see how fast you're sailing at the wind angle and the wind speed, so it can determine accurate predictions for your speed over ground when you're sailing. Because um, all boats sail differently, uh, all sailors sail differently, so the same boat, someone might sail this a lot faster than me, probably not. Someone might sail this a lot slower than me, probably. So um, it, it, it checks the boat's polars though, so you, it'll start gathering out. We'll, we'll take a look at that and see how that works in the future. I'll, I'll enable that uh, soon. Um, so the directions were good. It really wasn't that hard to set up at all. Um, and I'm really excited about it. It uh, saves me uh, hundred like seventy dollars a month, and I got great a great tool. So anyway, that's my information on throwing out my Iridium Go and using Predict Winds Data Hub and Starlink. Have a good day.